Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at another string function in PHP and the one that we're going to look at is the string position or strpos function and what that can do is basically look in a string and see if um, another string is inside that string. So maybe if you have a sentence you can see if a or check if a word exists in a sentence or a string um, and then show where it actually is. So um, to start with, you type in str pos or string position, and then in brackets there are three parameters that you can specify. I'm going to start with two. All right, the third one is optional. So the first parameter is the string that you want to look in. Okay, um, so the string that you want to search. So I'm just going to put in a little string here. Okay, so that's the string that I want to search, right? So that's the first parameter there. I want to look for a word in this string. The second parameter, so after a comma, is the string that you want to find in here. So maybe a word or a, a part of a word. Okay, so I'm going to look for fox. So I want to see if fox exists in this sentence. All right, so I put fox. Okay, now that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, to to look for it, but at the moment when I run this code, nothing's going to really show up. So I'm going to echo that out. So display it on the screen. So just save that, and then run the code. Refresh, and I get 16. All right. So just get the number 16. So what that's done is it showed me the position of where the word fox or where the string fox starts in this string. So we're looking for this string inside of this string. All right, so if we count, so remember that all strings have an index, so we count from zero. So we've got zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. So from 16, it's at, from the index position of 16, it's found that string, okay? So that's the string position or strpos function, all right? Now what we could do is we could, instead of putting the strings in here, we could just put in variables. So we could make a variable called string, which is equal to this. So we'll just cut this and paste it over here. And we'll replace, oops, in quotation marks. And we'll replace this with dollar sign string, okay? And then the word that we're looking for, we might just call that word, all right? <clears throat> it doesn't have to be a word, it can be any part of a string, but in this case, we're looking for a word. So I'm gonna put the word there and then replace this with dollar sign word. All right, now that should do exactly the same thing. There we go. All right, so we've just replaced it with a variable. All right, the next thing that we can do, we can actually add a third parameter. And that is where you can, if, if you have um, maybe, there might be two of, the word, of this word that you're looking for, there might be two in the sentence. So you can offset where it starts searching from. So say um, we, know that there's, we know that the word fox exists here from position 16. So um, it, it starts at 16, it goes 17, 18. What if we want to search from here onwards to find if that word exists again? So what we could do, just as an example, we could just replace dog here with fox. So now I've got two occurrences of the word fox. All right. So um, we know that fox exists at the end of this string after this one, after the first occurrence. So what we could do is we can offset the search. So we know it exists from 16 to 18 there, it's position in the string. So maybe we could start searching from 19, position 19 in the string and onwards. All right, so we can put an offset value in there. So now, if we save that and run it, it displays 41, okay? So it's, it's offset the search and it started searching for Fox from this point onwards okay and it's found it at that position there which is position 41 
Okay, if we got rid of fox in this in this string, so fox doesn't exist in there anymore, but we get nothing. All right, just returns false because it can't find this string here inside of this string here. All right, so let's just change that back. Okay, so um, that's that's basically how to use the str pos function to search or um, return the position of a string inside of another string. Okay, and then that's how you use an offset to um, offset the search so that you can search for more than one occurrence inside a string. Okay, so this might be useful if you're maybe. Um, Maybe the user submits some text, there might be a string of text, and you might be looking for the first occurrence of a word, or you might be looking for whether that string contains a certain word. So maybe you want to filter out swear words or something from a string. You could kind of do that using this function. That's one way of doing it. Uh, or one way of looking for those words inside the string. Okay, um, and then you could also use a loop. Um, so um, we could use a loop to kind of loop through this string and look for more occurrences. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and look out for the next one.